What made Pete Rose so tough was this. If you, you hurt him, and he's laying down there, and he isn't breathing, right? And the coroner says, he's dead. That's a bad thing that coroner just said. Unless you absolutely have killed him, you will never stop him from coming after you. The road to the World Series went through the Reds. The team's personality came from Pete Rose. There's just something about Pete, and you look at him going, he's going to be a damn tough guy to beat. You couldn't ask for a better leadoff hitter. You couldn't ask for a guy that could go first to third. You couldn't ask for a guy with better enthusiasm. You couldn't ask for a better leader on a ball club. Pete Rose uh, personified what baseball meant. He really loved to win as much as anybody I've ever known. Pete was very special. I mean, this guy, I can remember when he'd get base hits up the middle, singles, diving into second. Or a, a walk, he ran hard to first. And I'd hear players on my own bench, Charlie Hustle, my fanny, you know, things like that. And you know what I'm thinking to myself? Everybody should play like that. Pete was so consistent, it was unbelievable. I mean, each year, 200 hits, 200 hits, 200 hits. Because of his durability, because he knew he was going to play almost every game, knew he was going to make contact probably four times a game, he actually thought he could break the record. 2-1 pitch from Schaum. 